Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. And if it's one of my previous subscribers, thank you for continuing to stick with me. And yeah, I just wanted to run a couple of thoughts by you. I was thinking, you know that video I put up, and I noticed that on that yellow poster, it said Boris Johnson is, uh, you know, he's the one that's responsible for the deportation. And I was thinking to myself, why would Boris Johnson be advocating for deportation if he's advocating for amnesty? It doesn't make sense. So then I was wondering if he's like the front man for everyone who's behind him, you know, all the racists who are behind him and who want to get this thing moving and then he's the face of it all. Because, well, I just find it a bit difficult to understand. I was listening to um, one of his interviews. It was six years ago on LBC. And this is what he said. Now, this is before he even knew he was going to be a prime minister and he was still advocating for amnesty. It's not no empathy for Im illegal immigrants. It's purely economic. It's purely to do with finances. So it's not like he's got a soft touch with for immigrants. It isn't. It's because he wants them under the radar. He wants them to be able to pay taxes. And so he knows who is who, where they are, blah, blah, blah. So don't be under the misapprehension or the misperception that he's trying to do illegal immigrants a favour or that he's rewarding illegal immigrants. He isn't. He, like everyone else, is interested to know who is in the country. And the only way he can know who is in the country is by granting amnesty. That is the sole reason. And he can charge them taxes, you know, because the thing is, people are talking about, oh, from 2014 or whenever it was, um, anyway, what they're claiming is that half a million um, could be eligible for being in the country for 15 years. They reckon there's over a million illegal immigrants. I don't know where they get their figures from, but, you know, they have to hype it all up. You know what I mean? They have to make it look bad, terrify the people and make everybody think, oh, my God, England is overrun. And yet when you look at the statistics, black people are only, I think, 2.2% in some cases of the population. So it's a load of crap, really. So what they're claiming now is that if, um, if they can get all these people, well, what they want to do is create some kind of discord. That's the first thing. That is why they're making such a big hoo-ha about the amnesty. And the people who um, are talking about the amnesty, they are just so sneaky with their language. They make sure they don't. Ah, oh, I don't even know if it's sneaky is the right word, but so clever with their language, making sure they don't say the wrong thing. And yet we know what they mean. Kudos. That's all I can say. Anyway, Boris was saying, people before passports. What a load of rubbish in that statement. How can you have people before passports? The thing is, passports represent the people and the passports have to be valid. They have to be in date and you have to have um, a clean um, a clean record to get in the country. So why say people before passports, implying that this is the way to get talent in the country and scientists. So are you telling me that, that all the scientists that are going to come into the country are all clean just because they're scientists? That's a misnomer for a start. Most of the richest people and most of the um, most intelligent people are bloody criminals. A lot of them are criminals in the eyes of certain people. 
They would be criminals because they evade taxes. They do all sorts. But they get away with it because they know how and they've got people who can pay, who they can pay to sort things out for them. So these people, they're going to open the doors to just because they happen to be scientists. And that is why they're saying people before passports, because those people probably, like the golden visa, don't go through much scrutiny. They just zip on through. So, he says, we need to be fairer and more equal and treat people the same wherever they came from. Hmm. Yeah, right. We need to attract the best talent. When we, we, we will attract the best talent when we put people before passports. But that's what I mean. Unless you're not going to look at the passport and just look at their credentials, whatever the credentials they have. And how do you know they're not forged? Like, remember, people were paying um, the people who vet the documents. They were paying them to get people through. They had some little syndicate going on where all these people with golden visas, they, de they didn't even have all the money they claimed they had, but they paid someone to make it look as though they had all that money. So how do you combat that? Those are the people you need to be worrying about coming into the country, not poor, hard-working immigrants. And then they've got the audacity to say, oh, that we're going to have about half a million people who are going to be here for more than 15 years, who are going to get in amnesty and are going to cost us billions. How are they going to cost you billions? The hostile environment policy means they can't get squat. They can't get um, I'm not saying they should get, I'm just saying they can't get um, public funds, they can't get a job, they can't get a place to live. How are they costing you billions? They're costing somebody billions, maybe family relatives or whatever. They ain't costing the government squat. So I don't know why they're making it look like we've got all these illegal immigrants and the government's paying for them. Well, we know that's not the case. Illegal immigrants can't even get health care. They can't get squat. So I wish they'd stop sending out wrong messages to make people think, oh, we've got all these immigrants in our country. They're using up all our resources. They're using up all our homes. They're using up the legal people, if anyone, is looking after the illegals. It's not costing the government anything. If they're living anywhere, they're living with legal people who are putting a roof over their head. So I don't know what they are talking about, but oh, they're going to cost the country billions. What a load of tosh. I do get, I do get passionate about this. Then he says, um, an amnesty will encourage people with no right to be here. That's what a lot of, no, this is what people are saying. An amnesty will encourage people with no right to be here and will reward those already here. Yeah, it might reward those already here, but those people, remember, amnesty is only being given to people who have documentation to prove that they have been contributing and that they don't have no criminal records. And a lot of times they're supposed to have legal papers anyway. They have to have documents to show that they've been in the country for the, the time period, the 15 years. And if they don't have that, and that's probably the reason why they're illegal anyway, they can't get amnesty. So it's made to look as though anybody can get amnesty as long if, if they're illegal. No, there's a process. You have to show, just like when they were doing the wind rush, you have to show that you've been working for the past 15 years. And how can you show you're working for the past 15 years if, if you're illegal? So it's not that easy. So all you people out there who think, oh, you're going to have a load of immigrants, they're all going to come over here and they've all got amnesty. It's not that straightforward. It's fear mongering. It's not that straightforward at all. So, what else have I got here sticking my paper all over the place? 
like I said, the only reason why Boris wants to grant illegals amnesty is not to reward them, but to monitor them, have them underneath the radar. That's the only reason. The police want to know where they are. Border, border force immigration want to know where they are. So when they're out there looking for people, they know where they are. When they're picking up people, they know where they live. And like I said, you know, it'd be very simple just to give all of those people who they've been hanging on. And the thing is, like I said in a previous video, if they want to give people amnesty, why they got all these people hanging on waiting over 18 months for their application who are in the country legally, just waiting for that piece of paper and the Home Office is making them wait. And while they're waiting, if they didn't have access to public funds before, they're not going to get them while they're waiting. So the Home Office has got nothing to lose. They're still not um, absorbing public funds. They're still not living. They're still not dossing in the country. People just think that they come over in DOS. They're not. They do have to work. So this is what Boris said in 2014. If we don't give them amnesty, they will melt away in, into the Mackey. I don't even know what the Mackey is. It doesn't sound very good. And then he said undergrowth, never to be found. Or what he said, lost forevermore. So that's what he just doesn't want them to get lost. That's the problem. They ain't silly. And, you know, white people should know they're not silly. People, those people in government, they ain't silly. Anytime it looks like they're doing a favour, it's not a favour, it's a trap. Especially when it's got to do with immigrants. It's not a favour. So I don't know why you're all getting your knickers in a twist. Thinking, oh my God, you know, they're all coming over here, they're all going to get legalised. No, it's a bloody trap, as usual. Anyway, amnesty will allow UK to charge them taxes. It will allow them to enter the economy and get money out of them in other ways. It, also, it will also allow them to gather accurate data. So he's not doing them any favours. Um, Boris claims that illegals effectively have amnesty um, and that's what he's saying you know they do have amnesty in assault but no they don't have amnesty because they still have to look over their back so how how is that an amnesty if you can't just stand up and say look you know stand up and be counted that's not amnesty they all have to be ducking and diving he claims once you've been in the country for over 15 years, the authority, oh no, he said once you've been in the country for over 12 years, the authorities no longer pursue you. They give up. And that's probably the reason why they go to the prisons and deportation centres and reporting centres to deport people, because they don't know where the real ones are. So the other people suffer. And they're deporting people with the slightest criminal record. And the thing is, that's another reason why they probably want to know where everyone is. So that they can try and find them and, and give them some kind of criminal record for whatever reason. Because even in, in America, you know, for um, minor driving offences, they're creating a stink about it. Or what you have on your Facebook, they're using that as a reason not to allow you into the country. Can you imagine what you've got on your Facebook or Instagram? What business is it of anyone's? And yet, depending on what you've got on your Facebook, you're not allowed into the country. It's ridiculous. I think, and you know what? A lot of people, it's almost like Facebook or Instagram and these social media is what is now becoming like a credible ID. How can that be a credible ID? I thought it was just fun. But not anymore. People are taking Facebook and Instagram and Twitter very, very seriously, especially the governments. Boris said the key thing is to kick them out before they reach first base. He's dread, you know but kick them up before they reach first base. So what he's saying, they shouldn't come in in the first place. I mean, people think he's a soft touch. He ain't a soft touch. They think he's soft on immigration. Boris ain't soft on immigration. He's just being a realist. He's just thinking to himself, look, 
they're already here. We don't know where they are. So let's let's draft them out. Let's find out where they are. And the only way you can drag them out from un from the undergrowth, undergrowth, is by giving them amnesty. Then we'll know where they are. That's what he's thinking. Stop them from coming in in such numbers. You're the one that wants, he's the one that wants to bring in all these foreigners to do the jobs. The NHS and all over the bloody place. It's him, it's not us. So you can't have, but you can't have it both ways. Either you want them out and you keep them out. The ones you've already got here. What are you going to do? Oh, you can't smoke them out, can you? Like, what? what's that thing? Um, Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> they're trying to get Crocodile Dundee and he's up in the mountains. They're trying to smoke him out. That's what they want to do. They want to smoke out all, all the immigrants. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. And that's what an amnesty is. It's just another way of smoking out the immigrants. Really. But a very, very clever way to do it. Because they'll all come out. Can you imagine? The Home Office puts up this big sign. Amnesty to anyone who's been here for 15 years. Any illegal immigrant who's been here for 15 years. You just smoke them out in no time. But the snag. You have to think about what the bloody snag is. What is the trick? Once you come and expose yourself. From, once you come out from underneath the undergrowth. And then they start asking you for A, B, C, D and E and you don't have it. And you've exposed yourself. What are you going to do then? You think you can go back underneath the undergrowth? No, you can't. And you don't even know what they're going to ask you for. And you're done. Put yourself out there. Put your neck on the line. It's not worth it. You have to be one step ahead, peeps. One step ahead. So, Boris doesn't see why you should kick out anyone who has lived in the country for over 15 years without a criminal record. And that is why, and he was genuine when he said that. That's why I'm thinking, Boris, he's not that bad. I mean, yes, he's got his little snippets and what he calls, forget what he calls it now, what does he call it, when he makes that like it's some bloody joke. But in that interview, when people were calling in and they were saying, we, we, we don't want them in, we need to get them out. And he said, then the newscaster said, or the reporter said, but they're not all illegal. And Boris said, so if they're not illegal, why are you saying we've got to kick them out? And then the caller stumbled a little bit and he went on into some kind of rant and then the, new, the reporter had to kind of stop him because really what they were saying is that whether they're legal or illegal, we don't want them here. What Boris was, say, what Boris was saying is that if they're legal, they have a right to be here. But if they're illegal, they don't. But if we can't find them, we might as well give them amnesty. So then we can, then we can get them out into the open. That is Boris's logic. You might agree, you might not agree. Anyway, that's all I've got to say, peeps. Your comments would be appreciated. I'll probably get a lot of thumbs down on this one. But hey, I'm used to it. I ain't sensitive. <laughs> I won't take it personally. Take care now. Bye bye.